Hi guys, it's Alex from Tutorialize.net and welcome to my first video in the new and improved Lightweight Java Game Library 3 tutorial series. In this tutorial series we're going to be constructing a very simple game of 2D Pong. Now I'm hoping this tutorial series will help you master the fundamentals required in order for you to create your own very simplistic 2D games using both Java and the new released version of LWJGL. Now in order for us to get started you want to, you're, going to, you're going to want to navigate to www lwjgl.org and select the download link at the top and you're going to want to download the latest official release which is this green button on the left here so once you've done that um, you can open up your clips IDE select file new file new uh, file java project and we're going to call this pong now once you've done that right click on your project like properties and go to the Java build path. Open up the libraries tab and select add external jars and then navigate to where you saved the lwjgl.jar. Open and once you've done that click on the DV arrow on the left hand side and edit your native library location. Edit and I've saved that already in my libraries folder. So in this version of Lightweight Java Game Library you only have to select the native folder. You don't actually have to select the specific OS or um, if it's 32-bit or 64-bit. So select native, select OK and press OK. Now in order for us to see the source files of the LWJGL framework I'm going to add the source so edit external location external folder and navigate to where you've saved the source file and I've done that here so okay okay and that's it now in order for us to check this has worked open up the get started page on www.lwjgl.org slash guide and copy and paste all this code in here create a new package Where is it? and we're going to call this just main now within this package we're going to want to create a new class and it's going to be driver. So delete all this apart from the package you mean at the top. Copy in all the code and change the class name. So public class driver. And then go back down to your public static void main method and change this to driver as well. Save that and you should see there's no errors. So just to double check it runs, select run and you should see this lovely red box with hello world at the top. Now that's everything we're going to cover in this tutorial. In the next video we'll be starting from scratch with the code and I'll be showing you exactly what, what all this copy and paste code does. As always guys if you found the video useful then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If I've missed anything then please let me know in the comment section below. Cheers.